thought I'd show you guys today how to pH balance your water. Well, first thing you need is a container like this. You have to fill it up with some water. Okay, um, what you want to do is test this water to see what its pH is. It's a little cleaner. Put it in the water, clean it out, dump it out, then take a sample. Don't want a contaminated pH. About halfway will do it. Then you want to take some of this. Can you see that? It's pH test indicator. It's got the uh, different levels of pH as it matches in color right on the bottle, which is pretty cool. So you take, and uh, it says three drops, but uh, I usually use one or two. Oops, I guess I got three there by accident. And anyway, you hold this up, and you can see what color it is. You compare it to the side and you can see it matches about 7.0 right there in the bottle. Can you see that? You can see how well that matches right next to a 6.5. So the water here is about 7. Cannabis in soil likes it at about 7. But uh, you have to consider that you're going to be watering not every day and that your soil the level is going to uh, rise, the pH level will rise as it sits, one, two, three, four days, depending on how long you water. So you actually want to have the pH lower than seven because it's going to rise up. What I do is I take it down to six. I use this product here. This is pH down. There's pH up and pH down. Here's what the pH up looks like. You probably never basically use the pH up because the pH is always rising and you're always going to try to take it lower unless you make a mistake with the pH down and get it way too low and then you probably bring it back up with the, uh, with the pH up if you happen to do that but you're probably not going to do that okay so now we take the pH and here's a little siphon that you use put it in there and I've already I already know about how much is going to bring this right to six, about right up to there. If I put in that much of water all the way, that'll bring it right about to six. Okay, now I'll take a stick, stir this with you want to stir it around good so the pH is consistent through the water. Now you'll uh, test this new water. Wash it out. Take a sample. And we add the pH test, and you can see that it's become rather yellow. So it corresponds to six. Pretty good match, huh? Well, there you go. All you got to do is uh, water your plants with it.